Right, okay. You should be able to hear me. Um, hmm? uh, evening, y'all. Oh, that light's horrible. Jesus. Right, it's a little bit better, I think. It's not for me to sit like, oh, whatever. Right, there we go. Uh, let me just check. So, just comment if you're in. Who's the guy with the hair? <laughs> Classic. Huh. Right, okay. Uh, quiz time, isolation crew quiz, week five, I think it's the fifth week we've done it, we've got, so comment in either the group if you're in, um, or whether you're on YouTube, I think Cat and Kev are there, that's good to see, hello, I know Scott, you normally comment and say, can you see my comments, but um And basically, let us know that you're there. So if you're there, let us know. And we'll go from there, I suppose. Oh, for God's sake. Yeah, yeah, it's the quiz. So next, we'll get straight into it. Um, Kev's still working, Izzy and Caden are in, Kat and Kev are there, Mary and Paul are there, uh, Nora and Kieran are here, the Wool of Wolves are in, Harry, Sophie and Orin, Lester and Sue, um, and I'll assume there's a few others, so we'll give we'll give people two, oh the Harrisons aren't playing, they've just said they're not playing, um, Scott and Sarah, I'm not sure, I'm not sure if they're playing. Oh, the legs are in. It says their legs are in. Uh, do, do, do. Was that now? Legs are in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so we'll just get we'll just get going. I think it's so usual usual sort of um, system. We've got five rounds with um, ten different categories, and they're very very different. So I'll be honest again, I can't really remember all the answers, but we'll just we'll work it out. Jones in, which is good to see. Uh, so I say, hope you like the new background and stuff. Just thought I'd change it up. So we'll we'll get pretty much straight into round one. So round one, off the top of my head, I can't remember what it is. Uh, oh yeah, it's board games. So basically. All I want is the name of the board game. There will be a picture of possibly the board or maybe the front cover of the box. And all you've got to do is obviously write down the name of it. Some of it gets a, some of it's dead straightforward, and then it gets. I've tried to make it a bit harder this week because I think some of it last week it was like dead easy until like the last question, which was impossible. So everyone sort of got like nine out of nine, and then got one wrong. So. I've tried to just make it a bit trickier this week. But they're all categories you should have um, a bit of a good understanding with anyway. Right, if everyone just posts and say that you're ready and we'll get started, just say, yes, I'm ready. And we'll get going. So I've got my phone open and the YouTube chat as well. So either I'll do. But Claire and the kids are ready. Looks like Noah's typing. Cool. So Joan's ready, Lester and Sue are ready, Mary and Paul are ready, Noah and Key are ready. Good stuff. Right. Cat and Kev are ready. 
I don't know if Uncle Cur Auntie Chris and Uncle Dave are playing the Wool of Wolves already. Normally everyone's prompt. Oh, nice. Lucy and Esme in the house as well too. So we've got a full squad. That's good to see. Esme, you'll definitely be able to help out with some of these. And the plane. Izzy and Caden are playing as well, which is good, good, good. Right, here we go. Um, round one board games. Ten questions in each one. Here we go, the first one. Classic, dead straightforward. Number two. A bit trickier. Hmm. I think this is quite hard actually. I'd have a guess, but um Lester will know this one. I think it was released in nineteen oh three. Next one. I think nearly all the adults should be should be picking that one up. Dead straightforward. Yeah, less than knows what that last one was. Good, good, good. There's a few like classic nineties ones, so I was thinking you'll have either been a kid who was bought this game, or you'll have been an adult who bought the games for the kids. Um i.e. me being one of the kids. So there's quite a few games from like the nineties which are like classic. You'll see them and you'll be like, Yes, we used to have that. Right, next one. Boom, there's one. A little click sound. We want the, the proper name, not the schneidy bargain shop name. That it's called or something. Seven different versions of it. Like click move or something. Next one. Bit of an aerial shot, this one. Beauty game, this. I'm not sure this this like board is the latest version of it, but um, yeah, it was class, absolutely class game. Next one. Just part of it in this one. I know the younger kids probably looking at these and just like absolutely got no clue, but I was just like, yeah. Mums and dads can take the glory for these ones. It's definitely like David, Lucy, Kat, Kev, um, Laura, Glenn, everyone like that. It's like, it's that sort of era. Keep them coming. <laughs> right, next one. That was a classic, that one. Absolute beauty of a game. Next one. Oh, oh, oh. Don't make games like this anymore. Noah's looking at this going, are you kidding me? Noah, this was like the equivalent of a PS4 back then. <laughs> we had one as well. <laughs> Used to cost about 100 quid these, Noah. About 100 pounds, week's wages. <laughs> yeah, the old people, Lucy, yeah. <laughs> yeah. 
Uh, right. I literally wish that was in front of me so I could play it now. Brilliant. Right, next one. If people need a clue for this one, say clue. Type clue. And if we get enough people saying clue because they don't know, I might give you one. <laughs> I don't know whether people will need clues for it, they'll just see it. The board's a bit elusive, I think like the, the cover of it. No clues, Uncle AJ. Boosh. Jones wants a clue. Like this was a this was an absolute beauty. Like I'd love to play this again. You know what? I'm not I'm not going I'm not gonna give the clue. I'm not gonna give it. There's, there's a lot of people saying clue. It's 50 50 so far, actually. Or not. Kev's just pitched in, needs a clue. So it's like 3 2. I wouldn't say that was the majority. I'll take the fact that Lisa and David, there's two adults there, as well, I suppose we could keep that going. I'm not going to give the clue. I'm not going to give it. All right, next one. It's not the best picture, but if you. It's a fairly well known game obviously there isn't a blue box in it I've just done that to cover up the um, cover up the, the title of the game I'm never, oh yeah I've actually played this once and it was the most boring game I've ever played but the person I played it with were literally wet in their pants sad but But yeah, if you like it and you enjoy playing this game, it's all good. It's all good. Worst game ever. Right, next one. This is like literally the sort of game that you find in... Well, I won't say that. That's harsh. But yeah. Anyway, here we go. Next one. I'll be impressed if people get this one. I would struggle with this, but I look at it and I think, yes, I remember this. I think you rolled like a skull or something. Unbelievable game. It is a beauty though. Okay, next one. Oh, that's it. That is it. So, was that 10? Must have been. Well, that's all there is anyway. Okay, so we'll do the answers for round one. Um, in fact, let me just... Um... I've done that, by the way, so you don't need to worry about that. Just going to... Just going to take off the blue squares, because on one of them I can't actually remember the full name of it. But I'll just take the... Um uh, yeah, that's what it was called. Beauty. Right, do, do, do. okay. Sorry, I'm doing something. You guys can't see me doing it, but I am doing something. Bosh, bosh. Move AJ's first back up there. Do, do, do. Bosh, there he is again. <laughs> right, uh, okay, so easy answers for round one. So your first one was obviously snakes and ladders. Number two was Ludo. It's 
sorry, I'm just changing my settings because my phone keeps going going off. Uh, that was Ludo. Next one is <laughs> Cluedo. Ludo then Cluedo. Uh, the next one. Oh, our um, front door is just doorbell just gone. Max. Two seconds. Can I mute it? Sorry, just muted there because the dog was barking because there was um, someone at the door. Not social distancing. Um, right, okay, so I was just waiting for Claire. So that was Cluedo. Then, are you ready, Claire? Next one. This one was Frustration. So, good one, that. Frustration. I think we've got one at the car caravan. It's called, like, Ghost Chase or something like that. But it's called Frustration. Catch me if you can, yeah. Um, this one is obviously the game of life. I think this is a this version is a My Little Pony game of life. Um, but the, in essence, um, the answer that I wanted was game of life. Absolutely beauty game. It's more of a game for when your kids like if you got like eleven and well yeah nine ten eleven year olds like Ollie like Ollie is probably age. It's good stuff. You get like jobs and stuff. Uh, next one is Mouse Trap. Brilliant game, bit fidgety to set up, but um, brilliant game. So a mouse trap. Next one is screwball scramble. Screwball scramble, unbelievable. Uh, so yep, screwball scramble. You had to ring the bell at the end, didn't you? Class. All right, this one. This game was called Atmosphere. I think as well, just off the top of my head, it was also called Nightmare. There's two versions of it. Yeah, there was. They did it. In, they did it. It was named two different ways. So if you got if you got um, atmosphere, I think we when we played it when we were kids, it was atmosphere. Um, which says nightmare on there, and it, well, I've just quickly googled it, and there's, there's two versions which are basically exactly the same. So you might have, and obviously it says nightmare on there. But yeah, basically nightmare or atmosphere. I would have called it atmosphere, but. Um, yeah, pretty spooky, wasn't it? The guy's like face gets darker and darker and he becomes like more and more dead. But um, yeah, pretty sweet game. Classic. Uh, next one. There you go, as you can see, is Risk. Classic game of strategy. Next one. Ah, Ghost Castle. Unbelievable game. Right. Post your scores. So, post your scores out of 10. How many people have we got in this actually? 10 concurrent viewers. So, just scroll that up, bring that round, good stuff. So, we've got Defo Not Haunted House. Well, I don't know, that, that's the box, David. Um, you know what, I'll just Google it to see if there was another version. Haunt, haunted House Game. I'll put board game. Oh, 
there is something very, very simple. Sorry, not simple. Similar. Again, very, very similar called. Look, I'll show you. I know it might say haunted house at the bottom of the picture, but um, like the top of it says the title is clearly Ghost Castle. <laughs> So that's online. Um, yeah, this is the Haunted House Horrors. That's just like your tagline, isn't it? I'm going to say no. It's a, The game's called Ghost Castle. We've had, a, we've had a good reflection there. I'm at least open to it. Um, totally different companies. Uh, one is Fisher Price, one is. No, one's MB. One's, anyway. Post your scores, post your scores, no one's supposed to, oh there we go, so Claire and, Co oh, Claire and Courtney and Junior, 9 out of 10, Cat and Kev, 7 out of 10, Joan, 6 out of 10, Lester, 8 out of 10, Kieran and Noah and Esme and Lucy, 7 out of 10, Izzy and Caden, 4 out of 10, 8 out of 10 for the legs, fuming, we didn't get Screwball Scramble, we had that didn't we Claire, <laughs> Orin reckons at the bottom of the pick it says Haunted House, you know what he is like. Yeah, I don't know, but I'm going to go with the top or in that says Ghost Castle. I think that's where the title is, but um, I do briefly remember that. Right, okay, round two, 9 out of 10 for the Wooler Wolves. Appreciate you listening to our query, always, always. Hi, Junior. Hi. Good lad, get lost. Classic. Right, round two is Planets... And our solar system. So you need to know the names of your planets. You either need to name the planet or the celestial object. So the object that is in space. So there's 10 of them. Dead straightforward. All you got to do is name the planet or the celestial object. Don't start putting me with queries about celestial objects because if I name them, I'll just be giving it away. So don't be a doyle. Right, here you go. First planet, which one's that? Which planet? Oops, we're giving you a clue there. I would imagine we know nearly all of the planets, so you can always have a guess, can you? You can at least have a guess. Okay, which one's this? Well, make me a bit smaller actually, just so I'm not covering the planets. Right, there we go. Right, what's the next planet? Or celestial object. Good straightforward. Next one. Next one. Like I said, they're not necessarily in order. Or they could be in order. Mary and Paul, 8 out of 10. Yeah, good stuff. Next one. Which one's that? <clears throat> Next one.
I reckon the Wool of Wolves are good with planets. <coughs> oh, bless me. And celestial objects. I think that's the right phrase without giving things away too much. Oh. Next one. Oh. Thank you, Lucy. A tissue. God bless you. Thank you. Hmm, planet. Oh, I mean, celestial planety object. Should be getting to the point now where it's maybe little 50 50s, or you've got, a, if you're not 100% sure, you can have a guess. Next one. And your next one. I don't know if this is the last one actually. I think this is the last one. I think that's 10. So you should just be left with one option really for this, depending on what that option is. Okay, so. Okay, we're gonna go back to the start. Sorry if you've had not had enough time, but tough. I just need to skim back through this and let me have a look. Okay, I think I've got them. Right, so number one or number 11 or whatever it is. So this one is Neptune. So yeah, that was Neptune. This one is Venus. Probably a bit of a guess that one really, but Venus. Next one is Earth. The next one is Saturn. This one is Jupiter with its red eye. Is it red eye? Red eye. Next one is the red planet, which is Mars. Next one is the moon. This one is Uranus. This one is the sun. And finally, we have Mercury. So put your question, uh, your answers together, give yourself a little score, post out a 10. Um, we'll just read some of the scores out, hopefully you like that round. It's one of them where you know, you'll know all the answers, and the pictures are just a bit obscure around there, so it's uh, not obscure, just makes it a bit more of a potluck. So post your scores out of 20, good round there for the Lightfoots. What was your total? 7 and 16. I think that's Kieran's, Kieran, Lucy and Esme and Noah's total. Post your scores out of 20. Just so we've got running totals. Cat and Kev got 15 out of 20. Uh, Mary and Paul have got 16 out of 20. 17 out of 20 for Claire and Junior and Courtney. Jones, 12 out of 20. Wool of Wolves, 16 out of 20, some good scores. Lester and Sue, 16 out of 20. Kieran, yeah, I thought Kieran's added up to 16 out of 20. 16 out of 20. Is that everyone, the legs? I think the legs had a good first round, didn't they? Yeah, so there's like 14 out of the legs, 14 out of 20. Yeah, four, oh, I missed that, yeah, sorry, 14 out of 20. So, good, so, fairly com fairly competitive, well, it is competitive, everyone, every, basically within, what have we got as a, 
16 is possibly the better one, 17. So there's only five marks in it, or five points in it. So the next round, again, I have no idea what the round is. Oh yes, this round is the Simpsons round. So all you've got to do, um, if you sat there going, oh no, the Simpsons is, I don't know, it must be one of the most well-known, especially when there was only four channels on the telly. Like the Simpsons was on channel four every single day, wasn't it? Like, So you've got a chance. Obviously, um, again, I'm trying to make it a bit more difficult. Lester's gone, no, no, no. Claire's gone, oh, no, 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 no. Um, obviously, Courtney and Junior aren't going to be able to help because I don't think they've ever seen the Simpsons. But anyway, that's the way the cookie crumbles with a quiz. So round three, here we go. Who's that? We were doing so well. Sorry, Claire. Love the Simpsons. Jones on a could be on a comeback here. Harrison is well pleased. Right, next one. Next one. Next one, I think the fourth one. Fifth one. Got a feeling there'll be a couple of 10 out of 10s here and a couple of probably 0 out of 10s. Next one. And the next one. Oh no, David E. And last one. I thought this would have been a fairly well known round, to be fair. Right, that's it. So we'll get into them. They're all fairly major characters that are in it quite a lot. So this one is. This one is Cletus, a slack jawed yokel, but Cletus will do. This one is Barney. You've just killed me. Everyone takes this so personally. It's a quiz. Barney. Next one. Chief Wiggum. Chief Wiggum. 
This one. Smithers. Smithers. And, uh, this one is Principal Skinner. It's probably the hardest one, but it's Lenny. Here you've got Ralph, Ralph Wiggum. Well, I'll accept Ralph. This one we've got Mrs. Krabopel, or Edna Krabopel. Zero. We've got Groundskeeper Willy. How does Claire not know these, Kieran? You guys must have watched this at home all the time. And we've got Millhouse. Ooh. Round four. So, post your scores from round three. I don't want your scores from round three. I want your total scores out of 30. For Mary and Paul, one out of 10 wowsers. 17 out of 30. <laughs> There's a big change around in this round. Jeez. Um, 17 out of 30. 24 out of 30 for the legs. Cat and Kev, 24 out of 30. We were shocking. We were shocking until now. Got all the Simpsons in the back though. <laughs> Nineteen. Well done. We got one. I can't believe the Wool of Wolves only got one on the Simpsons. That is unbelievable. One. Lisa must. Ah, uh, Lisa and David. I can't believe that. Nineteen out of thirty. Okay. Sorry. <laughs> All wrong. Wow, was it? it was either it was the wow. What a what a divisive round that was. It was either basically well something or bust. So it was basically either zero. I was right, zero out of ten or a hundred percent, pretty much. Um, well, let's see what happens. There's still two more rounds to go. So next one is dinosaurs. Nelson. Nelson was the bully, wasn't he? Nelson was the bully. Yeah, she had bust. Um, right, so dinosaurs. All you got to do is name the dinosaur. First one. And no, there isn't a picture of Lester in here. Junior's got this round. Well, maybe it surprises us all. I don't know. Right, so there's your first one. Hopefully that just wets your whistle and gets you in. Right, that was in probably a phrase. Here we go, number two. They're all very Jurassic Parky. Next one. Next one. Uh, 
and here's your next one. Next one. Next one. Next one. Next one. So I'm literally just trying to remember what they are myself after doing the quiz. Next one. Yeah, if you've ever watched Jurassic Park, you should get this one because the kid's like in the field and he's like, they're called. And they're coming this way. All right, that's your round. So here we go. Our first one is... T-Rex, Tyrannosaurus Rex. Next one is Velociraptor. Believe it or not, I don't think Velociraptors actually look like this. This is the way the films made them look. They were more like a bird. They were more feathered. Um, which like what the word raptor um, refers to, isn't it? Like a, a bird of prey. Next one is a Stegosaurus. Next one, Triceratops. Next one is a Pterodactyl. I'll forgive you for the spelling. We know it begins with a P. But yeah, Pterodactyl. This one is a Diplodocus. This is a Brachiosaurus, or Brachiosaur. Uh, 
this one is a plesiosaur. I think this is where they took some of their inspiration from in the new in the latest ones, but yeah. Next one is an Iguanodon. And the last one um, was it's a, it's a Gala, Gala, Galamimus. There's your answers. Put your scores in. So a 24 out of 40 for Claire. She'd be regretting telling me to make the quiz a bit harder. Mary and Paul, 23 out of 40. Kieran and Lucy and Noah and Esme, 31 out of 40. The legs, 30 out of 40. 24 out of 40 for the Wool of Wolves. 23 out of 40 for John and Co. 25 out of 40 for um, Izzy and Caden and Laura and Glenn. 22 out of 40 for Lester and Sue. 22 well, some tough rounds, I suppose. Cat and Kev, 31 out of 40. So we've got a bit of a tie at the top, I think. 31 out of 40, closely followed by the legs on 30 out of 40. And then we've got a bit of a bridge to everybody else who was basically 22, 23, 24 out of 40. So, um, yeah, Cat and Kev also, sorry, I'm just looking up, what, yeah, there, 30, oh, yeah, 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 I've said that, haven't I? Um, so, yeah, we've got two, two, two teams out in front, but then we've also got everybody else in a bit of a cluster, so I think it's basically everyone's in a bit of a round where it was either the Simpsons or probably the dinosaurs that's killed people. So round five is, oh God, you're probably going to hate me even more, is insects. So you basically just got to name the insect. All right, so I haven't really strayed too far. There's no like obscure insects. The last one's tricky. Um, but most of them, Pretty sure you'd find in your garden or your house. Um, so yeah, he's your last five, last ten of the quiz for today. All right, here's your first one. Again, we don't need any like special names. Just the type of insect that it is. Next one. Next one. Here you go. Next one. Uh, 
Where is your next one? It's gonna be tricky now. Next one. Viewed under a bit of a microscope or very close up camera. Next one. You'll all know what that is. What? Oh, she's talking to Courtney. Next one. <laughs> this is gross. <laughs> Yeah, it's a bit icky, isn't it? It's a bit of an icky round. Well, I promise you, like all of them are very, very guessable. Like there's nothing, there's no like random, apart from this next one. Um, they're all like totally common. Back garden type stuff found in England, like if you dug some mud up, you'd find you'd find some of them. This one you'll find like in a field. Next one, last one, I think. Yeah, this one's a tricky one. All I can hear from next door is not a clue. I'm going to give everyone a clue. It begins with a W. And that's your quiz. Back to the answer. So here's your answers. First one, caterpillar. Second one is a moth. I believe that's an admiral moth. Number three is an ant. Number four, cockroach. I suppose you wouldn't find them in your back garden, but cockroach. Next one is a dragonfly. Next one is a flea. Next one is a louse, a body louse, like a lice. Have you put lice or louse? Head lice, head louse. 
um, our body. Yeah, I was just saying, um, I was just checking something. Next one is an earwig. So yeah, an earwig. Then you have a cricket. And finally, you have a weevil. It's W E E V I L. I have no idea what a weevil does or is or. But yeah, a weevil. So post. Post your answers. And. Boom. Post your answers, your, or your total scores, sorry. So we've got Sarah. Oh, good round for the legs. 37. Ah, oh, yeah, it was a good round. 37. Um, repeat 49. 49 was a cricket. If it was the black one, it was a cricket. 29 out of 54. Thirty-eight out of fifty for Cat and Kev. Um, good round, yeah. Thirty-two out of forty. Thirty-five out of fifty. Thirty-eight out of fifty for Cat and Kev. Thirty-five out of fifty for Laura, Izzy, and Caden and Glenn. Um, the legs got thirty-seven out of fifty. Really good score. Solid round that one. Um, John 32 out of 40 31 out of 50 good round for us I'll have to start watching Simpsons <laughs> good on you Lester who else have we got 29 out of 50 Claire Simpsons have killed them You said hello to everyone? Yeah. Whose top have you got on? West Ham. West Ham, who gave you that? Uh, Owen. Yeah. Caden, any hand-me-downs? We love a football kit, don't we, Junior? Yeah. I have to say, you look a bit like a Dimitri Payet. <laughs> with you. you don't know who that is, do you? No. No, you do look a bit like Dimitri Payet with your hair cut. <laughs> and your pool ball head. <laughs> Um, so 31 out of 50 for Leicester and Sue 29 out of 50 these kids need to get back to school to be honest I thought some of them rounds would have been right up um... Bosch 48 do you mean 38 Noah because you had th did you have 31 at the end of that round so I'm going to assume you got 38 I could be wrong. Yeah, but I don't need it in. Why do you want to need one? Because the mic's, that's where the microphone is. Mm -hmm. So I think, looking at the, sorry, I'm just looking. Um, I've got a feeling Kieran and Noah and Esme and Lucy got 38. Shoot, just a mistype one because they had 31. Same as Cat and Kev, I think. Or they had 30 at the end of the last round. 31. Cat and Kev had 31. Cat and Kev got 38. The legs got 37. And I think Esme, Noah and Kieran got 
38. So I think, I think at the top end, top of the scores, I think we've got a tie at the top with um, Kieran, Esme, Noah and Lucy with 38 and Kat and Kev with a 38. So we'll give them a round of applause, Junior, won't we? Yeah. Do you want to say anything to everyone? No thanks. No thanks. So that just leave. Well done, everyone. I hope you enjoyed the quiz. Um, sorry for some random rounds. Um, it's very difficult to try and pitch a quiz that's suitable for this and some of you very intelligent viewers out there. So I hope you enjoyed it. Same as usual, it's Wednesday, isn't it? So we'll probably... Was it Friday we did that adult quiz or was it Sunday? Sunday was. Was it? Yeah. You sure? Yeah. Uh, so we did poker. We'll do poker again this Friday if people are game. We'll do some bingo on Saturday. Saturday. And we'll do some adult quiz. I think it might have been Sunday, possibly. Just to keep us all ticking around. See what Boris has got to say this weekend. Happy V Day. Um... Well done with the quiz today. All that leaves me to say is thank you for watching and participating. Hope it's filled in an hour and five minutes of everyone's isolation. Stay safe. And wipe your bums. Wipe your bums. And hopefully we'll see you all very, very soon. And we can have some fun in the real world. Bye-bye. Deuce.